Hi guys, welcome to Snake Knock. I'm Vanny and with me I have Tempest, my royal normal. He's going to be helping me out with today's intro. The topic of this video is my Central American boa imperator gives himself an outing. So what happened was that Typhoon was actually supposed to be going into his house, but he decided he wanted some more time out. So he pretty much just gave himself an outing and I went ahead and put those clips into a video. So stay tuned. So while I have no specific topic for this video, I am going to go ahead and give you some background information on what's going on here. So Typhoon had been out and about for quite a while. This is not his usual tub. He had another tub and we're upgrading him to a bit of a longer, bit more spacious tub. However, all of the belongings that are here are his, like all of the furnishings rather that are in the tub. Those are all his. And I was hoping that the scent on all of those things, that's his scent after all, I was hoping that the scent would draw him in and we would have no problem having him go into a new tub. But because these animals are not just instinctual, but they are also very intelligent, he knows better. He knows this is not his tub, even though all of the things that are in here are all of the decor pieces and, and everything in here was in his previous tub. He's aware that it is a different tub. He's very intelligent. And you'll see how he goes <laughs> all out to not be put into his tub, into his new tub rather. And this is a juvenile Central American Boa Imperator or Imperator. I'm not certain if he's a Nicaraguan, but there's a big possibility. I got him from Reptile Pets Direct, and they in turn got uh, these babies from uh, some other breeder, which I don't have that information. So. Unfortunately, I won't know for certain if this is a, a Nicaraguan, but it's very possible. He was actually um, very, very small when he came to me. I don't believe that Reptiles Pet, Reptile Pets Direct had any time to work with this animal, and I don't think they do. I don't believe that they work with their animals. I could be wrong though, but I was actually expecting quite the nippy boa but uh, that wasn't the case. So my experience with the Central American boa was with Sandstorm, and she was very defensive. She's from Snakes at Sunset, I believe, and she was very defensive, and she really required a lot of work, a lot of desensitizing, even to proximity before I could do desensitizing to handling, and then later condition to handling. Whereas with Typhoon, that was actually quite easy. He was quite docile. He was a very small boa, so I was actually impressed with his temperament, with his behavior, because I thought I was gonna have to put more work into it. Anyway, while we continue to uh, look at Typhoon and what he's up to, and as he continues to avoid going into his new tub, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of info on the boa imperator or imperator. So this boa is actually considered a large, heavy body, non-venomous snake. And it is actually commonly kept in cap captivity, which is really good because there's a lot of information that I can access and look for, lots of sources that I can go to for info on keeping a boa imperator as a pet snake. However, this particular species, of course, is not as big as the Colombian boa imperator. Um, th that is also an imperator, and I have two of those, but those are bigger, and they, there are physical differences. So what I have noticed between the two types of imperators that I have is that the Central American imperator it has a sleeker body, and of course, the markings are different, the saddles are different, and the head shape is also different. Now these differences are not 
like visually impressive if, if you don't know about these snakes. So I think to someone that doesn't really know what they're looking at, these are differences that may not pop out right away when you're looking at just juveniles and they are not full grown because the Colombian boa imperators are supposed to grow a little bit bigger than the Central American boas. And I'm certainly finding that out. My Colombian boa imperators are a little bit bigger than my Central American um, boa that is about the same age. Typhoon is younger. He's actually my youngest boa and so he's not I'm not comparing him to them yet, but here I can see the head shape and it is actually a little more round, a little more stout. And um, that just uh, kind of works more with the type of snake that he is. So he will eventually be about six feet at the, at the largest, about five to six feet at the largest, possibly uh, staying actually closer to, to five feet if he is indeed a male. I, I actually think he could be a female, but if he is a male, I don't really expect him to grow much more than five feet. And the saddles are actually really impressive on this particular Central American boa because they are actually reduced uh, reduced saddles. They're like the patterns of the saddles are just like really reduced. That's actually very interesting. I did not pick Typhoon out myself from Reptile Pets Direct. I actually ordered a Central American boa from them and then I pretty much opened up like surprise this is Typhoon and this is what he looks like. So actually this is the, the one snake that I purchased without knowing what he was going to look like. But it was a very pleasant surprise. I am amazed with all of his markings. And here you can see his tail. And you can see that it has a lot of brown in it. Lots of like brown um, and like burnt orange coloring. No red whatsoever. And in their website, they though, however, do advertise this particular boa as a, a Central American red tail boa, uh, when in reality this is not a red tail, of course, this is a, an imperator, an imperator, and um, he it might even be a Nicaraguan, but I won't know for sure because, well, none of that information was given to me, so I just don't know if he is for sure Nicaraguan, but I know as much that he is Central American, so at least I know that much. And um, looking at all of his markings, he is, um, I would say, could be a Nicaraguan. But yeah, so that's Little Typhoon, and that's his story. And he's been an awesome snake, really. Like, really awesome to have, really awesome to work with and handle. He's actually turned out to be my exotic snake ambassador, and he got to go to one of my classes last semester and the kids were able to observe him and talk about him and talk about what an exotic snake was versus um, a local species. While he was there, we did have um, a fire drill <laughs> and uh, he handled that remarkably well. He, he was awesome. I couldn't take him out with me, but when we came back inside and I checked in on him, he was doing amazing, he was great. So he handled that very beautifully. Excellent, excellent animal, my typhoon. Okay, ready, Tempest? We're gonna do an outro. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye.